On Monday, George W. Bush will campaign in South Carolina for his brother. As you said tonight, and you've often said, the Iraq war and your opposition to it was a sign of your good judgment. In 2008, in an interview with Wolf Blitzer talking about President George W. Bush's conduct of the war, you said you were surprised that Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi didn't try to impeach him. You said, quote, which personally I think would have been a wonderful thing, uh, close quote. When you were asked what you meant by that, you said, for the war. For the war, he lied. He got us into the war with lies. Do you still believe President Bush should be impeached? Should have been First impeached? Of all, I have to say, as a businessman, I get along with everybody. I have business all over the world. I know so many of the people in the audience. And by the way, I'm a self-funder. I don't have. I have my wife and I have my son. That's all I have. I don't have this. So, let me just tell you. I get along with everybody, which is my obligation to my company, to myself, etc. Obviously, the war in Iraq was a big, fat mistake, all right? Now, you can take it any way you want, and it took, Je it took Jeb Bush, if you remember, at the beginning of his announcement, when he announced for president, took him five days. He went back. It was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It took him five days before his people told him what to say, and he ultimately said it was a mistake. The war in Iraq, we spent $2 trillion, thousands of lives. We don't even have it. Iran is taking over Iraq with the second largest oil reserves in the world. Obviously, it was a mistake. So George Bush made a mistake. We so, can make mistakes, but that one was a beauty. We should have never been in Iraq. We have destabilized right. the Middle East. But so you, so I mean, so, so you still think he should be impeached? I think it's my turn, isn't it? You do whatever you want. You call it whatever you want. I want to tell you, they lied. Okay. They said there were weapons of mass destruction. There were none, and they knew there were none. There were no weapons of all mass right. destruction. Okay. Yeah, all right. Governor Bush. When a member on the stage is brother gets attacked, I got brother about gets five or six. Do I get to do it five or six times or just once nice. responding to that? So here's the deal. I'm sick and tired of Barack Obama blaming my brother for all of the problems that he's had. And frankly, I could, I could care less about the insults that Donald Trump gives to me. It's blood sport for him. He enjoys it, and I'm glad he's happy about it. He but I am sick and tired, I am sick and tired of him going after my family. My dad is the greatest man alive in my mind. And while, while Donald Trump was building a reality TV show, my brother was building a security apparatus to keep us safe, and I'm proud of what he did. And he's had the gall to go the after World my Trade mother. Center came he's down had the gall to go after reign. my Remember mother. That. Hold on. Let me finish this. He's had the gall to go after my mother. That's not keeping Look, us safe. Look, I won safe. the lottery when I was born 63 years ago and looked up and I saw my mom. mom my mom is the strongest woman I know. She should this be running. This is not about okay. my family or his family. Okay. This is about the South Carolina families that need someone to be a commander-in-chief that can lead. Governor, I'm that person. Governor Kasich, would you weigh in on...